Hey guys, it's Bring here. We're on Fallout 4 The Wandering. I think this is episode 67 or 68. One of them. Definitely getting in there. Um, this is mainly an uh, episode just explaining what's been going on and why the uploads and streams have kind of been squiffy and basically non existent for the last week or two, possibly a month. Um. I've been having a lot of issues when it comes to just life. Um, pretty much since about August, every month something has gone wrong and something is fucked up. Uh, last month it was just mainly the fact that I was short on money because when I had to go get a uh, team from the airport, uh, I had to pay a bit of money towards that to be able to get her and go get her and stuff like that and the um, airport parking ticket, which wasn't that bad, it's on top of paying almost an extra hundred on my rent, because my landlord is an asshole. Um, so that shortened my money down quite a bit. And then the following month, just uh, the council, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically um, I'm renting a, a, a property to live in and I pay council tax to be able to do it and they shortened, uh, they shortened my money because I had to pay them extra as well in September and October I went for a meeting about um, my actual money, but got messed around, so I ended up wasting money whilst I'm there. Money gets shortened because of the uh, people, so I'm now running on low, uh, less money than I should be. And the debts I've been paying off Apparently I haven't been scratching at all, even though I'm paying extra on everything, and it's all getting on top of me again, like it did last time, and I'm struggling to basically cope. And on top of that, um, about uh, I think it was early this month. I found out that I have been overpaid on my money, apparently. So I'm having to pay almost a grand back, which is shortening my money even more. So, my money is getting incredibly thin. And I am really, really struggling. So at the moment, my mood's uh, mainly really depressed. Uh, and on top of all of that, my 19th anniversary, our two year anniversary, actually was ruined. Um, basically what happened was, I was, I had paid for a bunch of a couple of months in advance. And the meeting I had to go for got rescheduled for that exact fucking date. So I had to basically, uh, my uncle bought the tickets off me so I could get the money back so I could even get to this damn meeting. So we couldn't go to that, and I was too broke to actually do anything for our anniversary. So my, I asked my friend what was um, what was a good idea that didn't require money, and what didn't require money, and what we could do for our anniversary. Uh, he ended. Up, I didn't ask for this at all, but he ended up giving. 
us uh, a bit of money so we could ta uh, so I could take her out. So I was like, okay, I'll take her to Buddy's. Yeah, it turns out that place is fucking shut. It turns out that place shut down not long ago. So every plan we made for our anniversary just got ruined. We ended up just buying a bunch of junk food. Uh, buying some stuff so we can make homemade pizzas. I rented a movie off PlayStation, um, the PlayStation Store. The new Spider-Man movie, uh, Far From Home. Watched that. And that was pretty much our anniversary. And on top of all that, the worst thing possible is she's having to go home this week. When she was supposed to be going home in January. So, pretty much, it's just been one shit show after another. Uh, teen feels like a burden when she's not. It's not her fault. We couldn't have predicted this much bullshittery with her, uh, with her being here. And when it comes to my money situation, it's not her fault either. It's just so much shit has been kicking off. That we knew where there was going to be problems because it's me. There's always going to be problems, but we didn't realize everything was going to fall apart like this. So Friday, I'm taking Teen back to the airport, and she'll be going home. Uh, next year, it's gotten to the point where my money is that thin. I can't even do Christmas this year. I can't get a teen anything. I can't get my family members anything. I am completely broke. To the point where I can't do absolutely anything. It's that bad. So, what is this just dying? Um, with that being said, I'm not wanting this to happen at all, and frankly, I'm kind of a little bit pissed off that it's out, it's being done this way. But I will be going to the States next year. Whether anybody likes it or fucking not, I'm fucking going. But unfortunately, I'm not the one paying for the damn ticket. No, that's, that's team. She wants me to come over. And she's going to help me make that a reality. America will never fall to communist invasion. So hopefully next year for Christmas, I'll be going over there. That was the original plan, and oh fuck! That's the original plan, and we're trying to stick to this one. But my moods have just been there, here, there, and everywhere, and, I'm, and I have not been... I'm still not in the mood to fucking record at all. I, to be honest, I haven't even been heavily gaming that much. Uh, my sleep's messed up. I'm up early today because I went... Um, me and Teed... Uh, she's still asleep. It's, like, it's still morning. But me and Teen didn't get to sleep... Because uh, Saturday we had my meeting, so we didn't go to sleep in, uh, for an entire night, and then didn't go to sleep until like 11 at night, and it kind of reset the, uh, the uh, sleep clocks, so to speak, but it will probably change again when she goes back home, and I'll be back on to US time. Just so much shit has kicked off. I haven't even listed everything. The um, 
streams and stuff, I should be going back to normal when Teen goes back, because I'm just... I'm going to be su super depressed. That's... I'm going to be, like, mega depressed when Teen goes back. Um, like it was last time. I'll be alright, it's just, um... I was, I was kind of, like, set on having Teen here for, like, pretty much half the year, and having Christmas with her, but... Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and that's not the plan that we've kind of got going on, so... But... On a bright note, I actually got Teen back into um, Fallout 4. You see me, human? This is death. I don't know why I picked that. What was that? Was that a power quest? I don't know why I have a flux sensor. Oh, I have officially. My oh, fucking god. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Nice. I have officially. played and completed the main story of Fallout 3. Uh, currently I have PlayStation Now. Um, the only reason why I got it is because I thought I was going to get the full games plus the DLCs. No, that wasn't the case. Um, but I played the uh, main story and I completed it in two days. Yeah, I completed it in two days. And if I actually Sweet. put the time together, because um, a certain friend of mine wanted me to play uh, 76 with him, so I probably would have completed it in one day. I was trying my best not to get sidetracked. Even see this. I didn't know that was a duck though. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Either way, uh, but yeah, my the routine should go back to normal either next week or the week after. Um, so I haven't given up on the channel. I haven't completely stopped. I just need a. I just need a break. Um, it's not like I'm stressing myself out with actually recording streaming, it's just I've got so much shit going on and trying to keep myself from having a mental breakdown and keep the channel going and recording. There's only so much I can do because I'm trying to like make sure I don't have a mental breakdown and try and have a good time with uh, teenage. for the remainder of time she's got left. Accessed. Quoting New England poet Robert Frost. Freedom lies in, in being bold. I'm not going to go there. <sighs> um, but yeah, I just got so much shit going on. It's not fucking real. Uh, I am hoping to get one more stream done before Teen uh, goes, because it was a... Uh, 
home. Um, so once I have figured out if Tina's in the mood to do it, um, I will post out when we're doing it. But she won't mind because we did it the last time she was here, so. Giant teddy bear! Have I got any teddy bears on me? No. This giant ass teddy bear, I'm going to head back. Now there's shoes. Uh Oh <sighs> my TV is completely fucked. I mean, I think I've mentioned this before, when my TV turns itself on. Yeah, I figured out what that problem was. It was a setting that somehow got enabled, and it turns on every 45 minutes. Well, as soon as that started, the TV started not turning on straight away uh, whenever I uh, unplugged it. It would take... It, it used to be just 10 minutes, and then 20, 30... And then the other day, it took an hour. And then yesterday, it just didn't turn on at all. So, I now have no TV. I'm back to using the LG monitor that I actually started uh, using when I first got a PS4. So, it's... it's This t this monitor has been going, being used for a while. Because I have not got the money to <laughs> replace the TV. I need to take it out and of communism. Uh, put it in the trash. I am going to put this teddy bear somewhere. Awesome. Oh, also, I have brought the enclave back. I am a splinter group. I have decided to join the faction of the, uh, the enclave on here. Um... I'm still part of the Minutemen, Railroad, and Brotherhood. It's just I'm also... Uh, I'm also leading... Uh, okay, the backstory of it would be... Because I like the Enclave's gear. Um, I don't know where to put this thing. Oh, uh, it shrank. Damn it. I thought this was going to stay the same size. That's a little bit disappointing, but hey, huh? It's kind of disappointing. Uh, either way. Yeah, I've started decorating um, my house. This is where I'm living. I had to get rid of all the Christmas decorations because I broke the game. The, the My game just couldn't handle it. And I was saying something now, I just gotta remember what it was. Yeah, it's gone. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm not even fucking with it. Oh, yeah, Enclave. Basically, because this is my character where it's my decisions and I play how I would play. Um, I'd probably go exploring a lot 
So I'd probably end up coming across the uh, capital wasteland and all that. So, because um, there's a bunch of new stuff coming out, and if I can get the money together, I would definitely be doing it and I'd definitely be recording it and buying it all of it. It's going to probably break my PlayStation severely when I do. But I, I'm gonna say like in like a story role playing perspective that I went to the Capital Wasteland and I just found some more documentation from the Enclave side of things and found some gear and brought it back and decided to rebuild it, but in a good, respected way. Um, and actually help the people. It's so I've literally got. I'm I'm currently in the middle of building a Brotherhood base, uh, Boston Airport. Um, I'm going to be building. I think, I think, I have a railroad one. If I don't, then I'll figure something out. Um, I I'm also. Obviously, the majority of my settlements are going to be Minutemen. Huh? Because that's who's controlling the Commonwealth, very much. Um, and the Enclave is controlling Vault 88. Because I have never... I, I have never had a problem... bring in uh, factions into the game. It's just mainly when I haven't got the paint jobs and stuff to be able to actually keep them there. But with the end claim paint jobs and I've got Hellfire power armor and XO2 power armor and I think I left... Nope, he's out. Um, and the XO2 power armor because this is Enclave as well. And I'll be turning his armor into Tesla armor when I get the supplies to be able to do it, and science pack. Because I need one more science pack and then I can use my alien guns. Which I cannot wait for. Because all of the guns I can paint have got Enclave insignia on it, so. And I've lost all my dogs on her. I hear gunfire. But I'm just going to wrap this episode up. Uh, I could have screwed going on for a little bit. Probably only be about 20 minutes. But yeah, um, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads and streams and basically me posting. It's just I've been mega depressed and there's a ton of shit going on that I'm trying to somewhat process because I find it hard to process this kind of thing and understand it. And that's just down to my mental capacity. Um, so bear with. I will want... Because I'm still waiting to know if I'm actually going to keep my money. And if I keep my money, it's going to be a weight lifted off my shoulders a little bit for the next year. Um, and I won't have a mental breakdown and be panicking on how much worse my life can get. Because um, I know there's people who's like way worse off than me. But at the moment, me waiting to find out if I'm going to keep my money is a make or break moment. Because if I lose it, I am royally fucked. And... Because I am not mentally stable enough to be able to... Uh, cope with this situation. Um, the last time anything like this happened... And I got too stressed and too... Depressed and everything. It felt like my life was caving in, and my uh, it was caving in and crumbling around me. I got extremely stupid and done stuff I'm not proud of. And I'm pretty much in the same situation as I was before, and I'm trying to hold it together. Together, so. But bear with. Content will resume after I've figured out what's going on and somewhat put my life back together and probably dropped off Tini back at the airport so she can go home. 
But thank you everyone so much for watching. I know this episode has been somewhat depressing and lack of content, but I just wanted to verify, like, I'm still here, I'm still alive, somewhat. And I'm... I will be carrying on with the YouTube side of things, it's just I, I need a bit of time. But thank you so much for watching, make sure you comment, or comment like, and hit that subscribe button. I have been Deathbringer, and I will see you for the next one. Cheerio, and goodbye.